Um, so I'm an epileptologist, and clinically, one of the um, biggest complaints that uh, patients report is our memory difficulties, and difficulty um, with work, difficulty with um, remembering simple items sometimes, unfortunately, um, and, and sometimes more significant cognitive impacts. And so um, even though seizures are what really define the disease of epilepsy, the um, chronic um, symptoms between seizures uh, really have tremendous impact on patients. So most common complaints are certainly cognitive, and then mood is also one um, that is a complaint. There are a lot of um, different factors that contribute to the cognitive um, complaints that the patients have that makes it difficult from the provider perspective to know how to address it. One can be the seizures themselves. Um, also, it can be the medications that we're using, which can also impact cognition. And then a third can be the other comorbidities that go along with epilepsy, like as I mentioned, um, mood difficulties. So there, there are a few uh, approaches that one can take to help address cognitive complaints. One is to make sure that you're treating with the most, uh, the, the most optimal medications that um, will minimize the cognitive impacts that the patient's reporting. Um, so that's kind of the simplest thing. Um, I often do refer patients for cognitive behavior therapy or cognitive therapy with a speech therapist. Um, the purpose of that really is to teach them workarounds so that they can function better in their daily life, but that can be very productive. Um, and then the third is um, if they are still, in ha still having seizures um, that then and they're not responsive to medication, to consider whether surgical intervention to potentially cure their epilepsy is a good option for that patient. In some of those patients, as we discussed at the SIG yesterday, uh, the surgical intervention can actually either stop the progressive memory decline or result in improvement in memory. Certainly at a a uh, tertiary care a referral center like University of Pennsylvania, we're seeing a lot of patients referred to us for drug-resistant epilepsy, where they've tried and failed at least two seizure medications at adequate doses. Um, and in these patients, unfortunately, the literature supports that additional medical medication trials have a very, very low rate of rendering them seizure-free. And so this represents about one-third of all epilepsy patients. So it's a very uh, large number of patients. Unfortunately, I think there's still a big treatment gap where a lot of patients patients aren't reaching surgical centers like University of Pennsylvania. Um, so it's a, it's a conversation that I have almost daily when I'm in clinic with um, patients because of the type of patients that we see.